Hey guys, Gary Shirk here in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Today, I'm joined by my Coldwell Banker colleague, Nick Valsic, to talk about a new opportunity to invest in vacation property in one of the most exclusive areas of Puerto Vallarta, starting in just the 20,000 US dollar range. The type of purchase we'll be discussing is called fractional ownership. It's in a development called One Beach Street, located in the popular Zona Romantica area of Puerto Vallarta. I recently published a video all about fractional ownership at One Beach Street, and it generated a lot of interest and a lot of questions, which Nick and I want to address today. So with that, let's go ahead and bring in Nick. Hi, Nick. How are you today? Doing well, Gary. Great to see you. It's always nice to be back on your channel. All right. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I want to thank you for joining me to talk about One Beach Street and fractional ownership. Why don't we go ahead and jump right into it? Uh, can you just start off by giving us uh, uh, an overview of what fractional ownership is? Sure. Well, fractional ownership is not something entirely new. We've seen it for years with uh, private jets and with yachts, even with you know smaller boats, 40 and 50 foot boats. Um, you're not going to be using your boat or your ski chalet in Whistler on a regular basis, and you don't want to spend a million dollars on it. So you go in with some friends or your family and friends and family, and everyone is on that deed. And it is a fully deeded real estate acquisition. That's what we're talking about here. It's just not with friends and family. It's with other folks that are like-minded who want to have a nice hedge against inflation, which looks like it's going to be around for a while. Yeah. and get into the real estate market without having to spend $500,000 to do so. So this is a fully deeded product. Your name's going to be on the deed. You can bequeath this to whomever you want, and that person can bequeath it to whomever they want, and that goes on for perpetuity. Should you want to sell your portion at some point in the future, you can do so. And um, likely, that will be with a nice increase in equity uh, because of the real estate market and the way it is. So that's fractional ownership. Okay, that sounds good. And I'm glad you you talked about it being deeded, it being sellable, because some people confuse this with a timeshare. This is not a timeshare. This is an asset that you own, a real estate asset that you own, uh, and uh, that you can you can sell, you can lease. So that's, that's great. Um, before we, I, I want to go into some, uh, some examples uh, of, of, you know, purchase examples of this. Uh, before we do that, for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about the area where One Beach Street is located. Sure. Well, the name kind of says it all, One Beach Street. It's in the southern portion of the Zona Romantica. You're right downtown. You're blocks away from uh, La Palapa restaurant, from El Dorado restaurant, from the, the clubs, from the theaters, from the, well, the beach. Um, you're, you're dead center of town. So um, the reason why that's important is because that's where people want to be and wherever people want to be is where you're going to get the highest rent. So this is one of the higher nightly rent rental um, locations in PV, in the whole PV area, actually. So why don't you give us uh, now, Nick, an example of what a typical purchase looks like in One Beach Street? Sure. I'll give you sort of two ends, um, the higher end and the lower end. Um, again, these are folks that um, saw your video last week or this week and have contacted us and we're working with them right now. The gentleman who is, said, I've got either a hundred or $150,000 to spend. I'm not sure. Can you show me how I would be able to maximize that investment? What do you think would be the best way to split that up or you know, to spend it on? So <clears throat> we have an inventory sheet and we look at the various different prices, which change depending on the season, uh, the, which month it is, and then also depending on which uh, one bedroom or two bedroom. So for this particular individual, I thought um, two uh, fractions on the corner unit uh, overlooking the beach uh, in a high season would be his best bet to uh, maximize his return that would end up costing him about $150,000 total. Mm -hmm. uh, and then to give him another option, if he wants to spend just a hundred, keep the corner unit, which would be somewhere around 58, $59,000, and then buy another fraction in building B, which uh, is a lower in price, partial ocean view, 
and that would bring the total price up to somewhere around $100,000. Uh, we also are working with a gentleman who's completely on the other end of the spectrum, and he uh, is interested in a, uh, the lowest price unit that we have in Building C overlooking the city and, and, and the jungle, and that is a one-bedroom somewhere in the neighborhood of just under $18,000. And uh, for uh, for uh, low season, so that kind of gives you an op opportunity to sort of see with the two ends of the spectrum. And there's uh, multiple flavors that you can have in between. You can buy more than one unit. You can buy more than one unit in different locations throughout the building. There are um, pretty good discounts if you buy two. There's five percent discount if you buy three. There's a seven percent mm -hmm. discount, three or more seven percent discount. We have quite a few owners who have for fractions. So, um, you know, they're utilizing it for part of the year for themselves, for their family, and then maybe for three months, they're renting it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we, we should probably say that the fractions are approximately equal to a month, right? So if you buy one fraction, you've got one month, for example. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, just to give people an idea of how the prices that you just gave us compare with someone who's just going to come in and buy that entire condo, what uh, what would someone be paying in that building if they if they just purchased uh, an entire unit? Sure, um, there are two examples that actually in that building, so it's a very good comp, uh, comp uh, comparable. Uh, we have the one bedroom city view for sale uh, at two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars, and we have a one bedroom ocean view on the fifth floor for sale at over five hundred thousand dollars. So um, on the one bedroom city view, the individual that we were just chatting uh, with earlier today, uh, he's getting in uh, at 17, under $20,000. Right, right, right. That definitely shows you the advantages of uh, this type of, in, of investing. You can get a, a great spot on the bay and get a piece of the action and, uh, and make some money on it. Um, how about at this point, tell us a little bit about the building. What sure. The building is not a pre-construction. This is an older building. It was built in 1999, and there are th three sections to the building. One is Building A, which faces the ocean. Uh, building B uh, is along the street side on the road going down towards the ocean, and those have partial ocean views. And Building C, which is a smaller uh, building uh, in the back uh, that faces uh, the city and the hillside and the jungle, and uh, it's the least expensive of the three buildings. But, but Gary, the real issue here is your overall location. Even in building C, you are still in the same building and block one block from the beach and two blocks from everything else. So it's really about location. Yeah, uh, and uh, it's probably uh, important to note that, uh, as you said, this is an older building. It's, it's available today. You're not gonna buy something and then wait, and then wait two years for, for it to finish. Uh, and these units are fully furnished, uh, and there's a washer and dryer. There's a, there's a pool, all the amenities you expect, a pool and air conditioned gym. So the building is definitely set up for, uh, as a vacation home or, uh, for guests, if you rent it out. Totally turnkey. Yeah. Uh, okay. How about, um, uh, fees like the HOA fees? Tell us about that. Sure. The HOA fee, uh, varies on, uh, based on the size of the unit. So there's three different uh, HOA fees, the one bedroom, two bedroom, and the two bedroom corner. Uh, the one bedroom is $581. That's per fraction. So that's, that if you only have one fraction, that's a once per year payment. And it covers everything for your condo while you and your guests are there. So that also includes, it includes all your water, your electricity, um, insurance, um, even your annual taxes and your annual trust payment plus uh, two housekeeping visits per week. Hmm. So if you're renting this out on Airbnb, uh, it's really handy because you can have one of the, um, the, the unit will be clean, ready cleaned for you when, when your fraction starts. So your guest checks in, um, you can have, a, if they're there for a week, you can have it cleaned midweek while they're there. And then, uh, at the end, when they check out, you just need to let the building manager know uh, Mr. Smith is checking out on Friday or whatever. And that's when your second 
uh, cleaning uh, happens and the room's turned around in a couple of hours, your next guest checking in later that day, same story with that. That's all included. So that makes a big difference when you're looking at your return on investment in terms of how many dollars you have to put out. Um, you know, as, as you know, Gary, because you own here and you rent here, um, in the case of owning your own place, you do have to hire somebody to manage all of these things. Uh, the iron breaks or the television malfunctions right. or whatever. You got to have someone there to handle all of that and to do check in, check out and all the rest of it and organize the cleaning, et cetera. So this is all done for you and it's all part of it. And you know, something should break a chair the iron doesn't work. Uh, the television's malfunctioning. There's a front desk and that gets taken care of. And that's all part of your HOA. Yeah. So it's really an all inclusive um, scenario from that HOA perspective. Yeah, that's that's a big advantage. Uh, obviously, in in my case, I, I'm paying an HOA, but it covers no property management. So my property management uh, fees in my unit is going to be a lot higher than people buying in this building for sure. Um, all right, let's move on to financing. I understand that financing is available for these units for those buyers who want to take advantage of that. Sure, uh, the finance financing is done through the owner of the building and. Um, uh, there's three different options. Um, there's a two year, three year and a five year. And, uh, as with any other financing, uh, the longer your, uh, term is the higher the interest rate is going to be, um, but you'll be paying less per month. So, um, it, the lowest interest rate is 12.9. Then it goes to 14.9 and 15.9. They're quite high, but, um, there's no credit check. And um, it's very straightforward. It's here you go. You want financing, you've got it. And there's no prepayment penalty. You decide partway through your five years, you know, I'm just paying the rest of this thing off. And um, who cares? No problem. Just pay it off and no penalty and no more monthly payments. And you are now full owner of that fraction. Okay. All right. Sounds great. Uh, let's see here in our last minute, anything else you want to say about, uh, one beach street? Um, the other thing is, um, we've got, uh, we've gotten some questions about, you know, what does the pool look like and, uh, where is this in your last video? You know, there's a drone shot there that uh, shows, um, the drone flying down and in towards the building. You can see the, the pool deck there and you can sort of see what the building looks like from those shots. And, um, you know, I'm available on site here at any time. I've, I've done videos for some of our other buyers where I walk through with my phone and actually show what the unit looks like. And I'm happy to do that at any time. So there is a pool. That, oh, I forgot to tell you, uh, it's heated. Okay. <laughs> now, right now, it's warm, but we don't need to worry about it. But right, in the uh, winter. you and I live here full time and you know, Gary, in January, you want that pool to be heated. So yes. <laughs> it's a heated pool. And that, that really does make a big difference because I've seen quite a few condo complexes that you and I have sold uh, mm -hmm. and the pool's not usable, you know, in the, yeah. during the prime season. We've also got underground parking. Uh, it's not deeded, it's not assigned, but as with most condo complexes here in PV, about 20% full at any given moment. So it's not a problem. It's gated, blocked, et cetera. 24 hour security at the building. Everybody sort of knows everybody else there. Uh, okay. That sounds great, Nick. Uh, as you had mentioned, I had uh, recently done uh, another video on One Beach Street. I'm going to put a link to that in this video so you can check that out. Uh, I'll also put our contact information in this video. Uh, if, if, there are questions you still have after seeing this. Don't hesitate to contact us and uh, we'll, we'll get right back to you with all the information you need.